Hello, my sweet Pisces, my awesome soul brothers and sisters. I missed you, Pisces. I hope you're doing wonderful. It's Thursday already where I am. I wasn't going to do any readings today because it's my son's 13th birthday, but he wants me to do the readings. He is such a beautiful soul, always thinking of others. Pisces, let's do this then. We're going to do a reading for you to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. Also, to find out what's coming up for you. <clears throat> First, we're going to ask um, how you're currently doing, what's coming up for you in your life, and how you are doing on your soulmate journey. We are on soulmate journeys, right? Yeah. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Pisces. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for pisces in their life and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for pisces in their life and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey let's see pisces what's showing up for you <clears throat> mm, you want to communicate with your soulmate pisces this is you wanting to communicate with your soulmate yeah this is you waiting oh i love the wheel of yeah you want to reconcile with your soulmate yes you do you want to reconcile with them but it looks like uh that reconciliation is not impossible here's wheel of fortune with judgment together very strong powerful combination that the universe will give the two of you an opportunity to reconcile yeah you guys are not done yet you see you have shared many lifetimes together previously but this shows you have unfinished business you have soul contracts uh, in this lifetime you see beautiful wow there could be any astrological sign you decided not to take action yeah because you're showing up reversed Queen of Wands is Queen of Action, but because you are showing up reversed, you decided to not take action at this time. You're waiting to see what this person is going to do or waiting for better time. Yeah, but you see, it looks like uh, something is going to happen between you two. Yeah, this is not over. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their, in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey Ooh. oh my goodness Pisces I'm so sorry you're going through so much this is you deeply heartbroken yeah this situation brought you a lot of heartbreak this is you heartbroken devastated emotionally you're trying to heal because when you add these swords three and one over here becomes four of swords this is you trying to heal emotionally trying to make sense of what happened yeah you're waiting to heal you're not taking any action right now towards your soulmate yeah you guys have soul contracts my goodness look at this the star wheel of fortune and judgment together you guys have unfinished business yeah you're quiet silent you're trying to heal this is you retreating not communicating with your soulmate right now uh yeah feeling like you need time to heal you see here's the four swords one two three four and here's the four swords this is you're trying to heal oh my goodness you've been through a lot yeah you see you're quiet silent but look at this this is you having wisdom yeah using that wisdom uh, trying to figure out where this situation is leading going yeah, you see, you're waiting patiently, but you're not putting your life on hold. You're waiting to see what this person does. You feel uh, there's something unfinished between you two, and there is. <clears throat> oh, you love this person a lot. Look at this. You guys have shared many lifetimes together. You see, many lifetimes together. Something is toxic, though. You see, you had to let the situation or connection go for time being. Something is toxic. This person is dealing with something 
uh, that is preventing them at this time or has prevented them from giving you uh, a solid a commitment you see for this to show up there's something off something is not right for this to show up a lot of you are dealing with virgo capricorn libra aquarius aries hmm cancerian leo those are just the signs that showed up but there could be any sign, but those are the signs that Joe showed up very strongly. You know, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, uh, this was very stressful for you, this situation, this connection. You had to release it. Something was not right. Yeah, you had to release it. Something was toxic, draining you, exhausting you. Yeah, you had to release it. You love this person a lot. There's no doubt. The Ten of Cups. You really love this person a lot. But you're deciding not to take action. Yeah, you see? You feel connection with this person like you never felt with anyone else. You feel that this is your ultimate soulmate. This is the person for you. Yeah, this is you waiting for this communication to happen. Unexpected communication showing up here. This is definitely not done. You're waiting patiently for this person to communicate, but you're not putting your life on hold. You're not uh, stopping living. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces. And how is the soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time? What's going on with the soulmate of Pisces and how's the soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time this one looking at me strongly why two of them there's two of them want to to uh, show up for extra messages yeah you see look at this this person feels it's not over something is unfinished between you two wheel of fortune is a positive energy oh my goodness this person has a lot of pride. They have a hard time expressing emotions, showing they are emotionally vulnerable. They want to come towards you, but they're very prideful. Uh, they have a hard time initiating communication, expressing emotions. It's like they're purposely hiding how affected they are emotionally by this disconnection from you. Yeah, they're waiting on something. This is them trying to make a wise assessment of this whole situation. To make a decision. Ooh. <laughs> Pisces, you told them something that they didn't like to hear. It hurt their pride, ego, but you were honest. This is how they view you. With your heart being very guarded towards them, ready to tell them uh, goodbye. Uh, you, you said something to them that hurt their pride, ego deeply, but you were honest. Yeah. It hurt them deeply. They're waiting for you to kind of cool off. At least that's what they think should happen, that you need to cool off before they try to make a um, communication with you or you, you communicate with them. Let's see what will clarify the emperor. Oh, my goodness. They're dealing with some... Yeah. They're dealing with some toxic situation in their life that has nothing to do with you. They need to free themselves. In order for them to free themselves of whatever is going on in their life that's so toxic, they need to learn some kind of important lesson or lessons um, before they can balance those karmic scales with whatever they're dealing with. There's people, toxic people in their life, draining their energy, resources, you see? Whether they need to free themselves of a karmic relationship or some kind of toxic family connection, whatever it is, it's toxic. And it's really exhausting them. Yeah. But they don't want to show you uh, how they really feel. For some reason, they're hiding. Uh, yeah, they, this is them needing to let go of something toxic in their life. And they know that. They know that. They know that they can't be with you until this, whatever it is that's going on in their life that's so toxic is completed, over with. Yeah. Mm. I'm curious to see what will clarify their energy. Universe, please show us 
what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces and how is the soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time? They want to see you so badly. This person is planning to see you. They want to see you. They're in love with you. Yeah, they are. Two of Cups. But they have a very hard time showing they are emotionally vulnerable, that they need you, miss you. They're waiting. They're waiting to see if you're going to cool off and approach them again or if they need to do it. <laughs> this person knows you purposely not reaching out right now. They know that you feel tired, disappointed. They know. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo, Libra, Pisces. You see? Communication. This person wants to communicate. Oh, they're missing you so much. You have no idea. This person is missing you so much. Feel so sad without you. That's because of how they feel about you emotionally. Yeah, you see? So this person is aware that they didn't offer you anything solid. But it looks like they couldn't, you see? It's not that they didn't want to. They couldn't, you see? There's something going on that they need to work on, fix, learn something from before they can approach you. This person has deep passion for you. Attraction, love, passion, attraction. There is definitely something going on in their life that is preventing them from being with you the way they want to because their hands are tied behind their back. But the reason for that is because there's something that they need to learn, something important they need to learn before they can free themselves of whatever it is that's going on in their life. <clears throat> Let's see. Universe, please show us um, what's going on currently with the summit of Pisces. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So this clearly shows that because of what's going on in their life, uh, they've been in and out, in and out, in and out of your life, more out of your life than in your life, not consistent, not communicating, not listening to what you have to say, not expressing emotions, not telling you where you stand. Basically, it's like your life was placed on hold by this situation and became toxic to you and you had to release it. You were drained. Yeah, you see? So this person knows they are at a crossroads. They're going to have to make a decision. They can't just sit there waiting for things to happen on its own. They're going to have to make a decision, left or right, up or down. <clears throat> yeah. They have a lot of fear. There's something that you're not aware of that they're not telling you. But I think it's because they don't want to worry you. There's something going on that you're not aware of. Yeah. Um, they see very clearly what they need to do, which is a good sign. They see clearly with the sun being present here. They're in love with you. This is hidden love, unspoken love, unexpressed love. This person loves you a lot. And because they're holding this wand here, and here is Ace of Cups, they have so much passion for you. Yeah, you see? They know they have to communicate. They are at a crossroads. Here they are holding those two swords. This person knows. They're trying to figure out how to approach you, when to approach you. So they're not able to give up on you. It's because of how they feel about you, Pisces. We're going to go into your extended reading and ask what they truly up to. We're going to ask their true long-term intentions and plans for you, what they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know. They'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.